Well, it's Christmas Eve, the final day of this Star Wars Advent Calendar. Let's open her up. Day 24. See what's inside. Ooh, Yoda sticker. Get that out of there. And, like I expected, it's Christmas Borg. Get him out. Try not to break him. I knew we were going to get a character from The Last Jedi. So, place him there. And we barely have enough room for everybody here. Flip all these things up and take a picture. And there we have it. All the things are ready. I think I'll use that picture for my thumbnail. So that's a great lineup of everybody. We got two Boba Fetts and two R2-D2s and other than that, no doubles. This was a great advent calendar. I didn't rate the last one, but I'm going to rate this one a 4 out of 5. A very high 4 out of 5. The only reason it didn't get a 5 is because... I'm not a big Star Wars geek. And some of the Christmas aspect is, um, well, too much. Uh, the Marvel one was pretty cool. That also gets a high four because some of the sizes doesn't match. Like, I think the Thor should be larger like at least medium size and the spider-man was too big but <sighs> they must have mixed up the sizes or something but <sighs> yeah i really like this advent calendar and i can't wait to see what advent calendar <clears throat> i pick next year so, happy holidays from the Junk Food Critic slash Matty G. Um, don't forget to subscribe.